know you've got some pet peeves, Blake, uh, about us uh, uh, civilian drivers who share the road with you. Um, so why don't you tell us some of the things that uh, us uh, car drive vehicle drivers should uh, not do, or you know, what what are the things you, you can vent on and let us know how we're screwing up. Well, one of the things that I can't stand the most is probably people don't know how to slow down. They think they need to pass you. They need to speed up. But most people forget if you slow down, you can still get behind somebody and still pass them, especially when you're getting on and off the off ramps. Like, you don't have to speed up on the on ramps you do with the merging. But when you're exiting to an off ramp, you don't have to speed up in front of me and cut me off. You could just slow down, (laughs) get behind me, and still merge off the di- off the highway without trying to kill everyone around you. <laughs> because I got taught in school, if you get in front of me, I'm going to run you over. Yeah. If I switch lanes, that's my fault and hit somebody else. Mm-hmm. So if you get in front of me, you're pretty much going to get splattered. And, and your stopping distance is a lot longer than an average vehicle stopping distance. Sometimes I don't even think there is a stopping distance. Yeah, But I've learned a long time ago, whatever the speed limit is for me, for you, it's not for me because I am in the regular highway, like in the cities, I got to go 10 to 15 mile an hour less than what the posted speed limit is because red lights will catch you. And if you like come up on top of them, you can't just slam on brakes and try to stop because you'll jackknife the trailer and throw it and it'll hit somebody. Mm-hmm. So you either got to go slow enough for your environment or... Just realize what you need to do in your job. Right. That was a good question. Uh, one quick question. Is, is your uh, is your wife qualified to drive? So you guys do tandem or what do you guys do? Well, my wife is afraid to go to school because she has uh, anxiety problems with other people and being in strange places by herself. So she would she doesn't mind going as long as I go with her. But we've looked into that. And we can't exactly do it because they, of my experience as a truck driver, they would put me in a different bracket and she would have to go to uh, school by herself and get on a truck with a trainer uh, for 30, for like 30, 180 hours. And she doesn't want to get on the truck with a complete stranger. She's four foot nine. She's a whole bunch of nothing. I could punt her like a football. <laughs> 